So at the start of this video, I was very much confused on what was going on with this building. I thought it was just two apartments and they were each three stories, but turns out it's six apartments in here and they're each two bedrooms, one bathroom. And as you guys gonna see throughout the video, I finally catch on and notice that it's not just two apartments, it's actually six. And I think in the video I said it's four apartments, but I just realized it's a third story. So it's actually six apartments. And I'm gonna do this throughout a little series. I'm gonna do like maybe, it's probably gonna be like 12 videos all together for this. So y'all stay tuned for that, but let's get into this build. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be buying and renovating a 30 by 20 lot. So we're just gonna go to lots and I'm gonna put in 30 by 20 and I'm gonna save a few houses and then we're gonna look at them and then I'm gonna decide which one I wanna remodel. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna just go ahead and go with this base game apartment. And I'm thinking about turning this into a whole little series where I renovate the first apartment, probably do two, three videos, and then I'll renovate the second apartment. Um, So today we just gonna start off with demoing the downstairs, removing all the items and putting together a little floor plan design. First thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and remove all this little furniture. And I'm definitely gonna keep the cabinets in here because I wanna know, like, I wanna be able to look at their layout and then come up with my own layout for the kitchen. So I always just leave the kitchen item the kitchen items where they at until I come with my own little design for the kitchen and this is a small small bedroom I might try to make this a little bigger when I redo the floor plan and this obviously has to be like a downstairs master bedroom or a little suite downstairs it doesn't have a bathroom to go with it so it's like a downstairs suite got a little hallway area breaking everything off and this is what you would call I think the foyer area and we got a little bathroom it's not too much in here I need to remove so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and remove all this little stuff right here and then i'm gonna leave the toilet the sink and the tub and yeah i'm gonna just put the floor plan design together for this downstairs and in the next video we'll do the upstairs the second story there's three stories in this building so yeah i'm gonna probably do it in like three different parts okay so looking at in here this all needs to be opened up i feel like this is real closed off and real jammed together so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this wall right here up and open this wall right here into the kitchen up also because i feel like this is just a little too closed off and I feel like that makes it look way better by opening that up. I kind of hate the way this staircase is set up. I hate how it goes up like that. Um, I guess we just gonna have to deal with it like that. And this is a small little kitchen. I want to make this kitchen a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna figure out a design or I might just leave it the size it is and just come up with a new little design for it. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and remove everything and then come up with a little kitchen design real quick. Just put a little something together. So what I'm gonna decide to do is use this basic standard paint swatch all through the downstairs. And then as I go room to room like I usually do, I'll probably switch it up and use different colors in different spaces. But for now, I'm gonna just place this all throughout the whole downstairs and the next thing I want to do is remove all these doors these are right really outdated doors and I don't like the way it looks so I'm gonna just go ahead and change those out and I'm gonna use these slats all doors I'm gonna just place one there one here and I'm not sure what I want to do in this little area right here oh this goes into this goes into another apartment I'm confused why is there a door into the other apartment I'm not even gonna put a door back there because I feel like that's kind of weird that another door goes into the other apartment so I'm not even gonna put a door back right there oh now I get how they got it set up okay they got it set up as four apartments I'm just noticing that okay so now I see what they did so what they did was this is like the foyer area so when you come in like the apartments are separate so I need to close this back off actually I felt like this area was a little cramped but I think I need to close that back off or you know what I'm gonna just go ahead and redesign this yeah I'm gonna just leave that closed off and then put a door back right here for the entrance to this apartment so I'm gonna just put this door here and this will be like the living room I'm gonna actually move this door here okay guys so this whole build of this apartment right here had me confused but now I'm understanding what's going on so this was a bedroom this is a two bedroom one bathroom so now I get it I was thinking that it's two apartments for some reason but now I see it's four apartments and they all two bedrooms one bathroom so with this apartment over here I'm gonna start off with this one and all these apartments I want to use like the same kind of floors but just a different color so in this one I'm gonna start off with these brown ones I'm gonna just place these throughout the whole apartment maybe I'll switch it up in the bathroom and go with some type of towel but for now I'm gonna just place this all throughout the whole apartment I'm gonna just go ahead and remove this stuff out this bathroom because I already know my little layout I want to do in here now and in here I know I use these cabinets a lot in almost all my builds in these same colors but I really want to use this in here so I'm gonna use these um white and brown 
bottom cabinets, I'm gonna place a corner cabinet there. The sink will definitely go there, and then the refrigerator will go here. Just use one of the stoves I always use. And on the upper cabinets, I wanna go with a different color. These kind of match the floors a little bit, but it's a little off. Y'all know Sims colors be a little off sometimes, but for the most part, these colors do match with the floors. A nice little sink right there. And one of my other favorite things to do is use this little stove vent right here. Even though these cabinets are a little low, I'm gonna still place this stove vent up here oh it's because tall walls on let me turn them let me make these walls short okay i feel like shorter walls look way better then my stove vent will fit the right way like that i almost forgot to place the fridge but we don't put that right there and we need a half a top cap and just so this kitchen won't look so plain i'm gonna just do a little island i'm gonna just do these two little island -in things in cabinets and place a half wall behind them i'm gonna have to move them down and I decided to make the kitchen a little bit bigger so this island won't look off when it's all the way down here. I don't know how this looks, but I feel like I need to add an island, so I'm going to just leave it like that. And I'm going to add some half wall trimming. And somehow I'm going to turn this into a little living room area in the next video. This is just part one right here. In part two, I'm going to be trying to decorate this and do something with this bathroom. So y'all stay tuned for part two, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Make sure y'all drop in the comment section and let me know what y'all think of this little build series I'm about to do with these little apartments. I feel like this is going to be a good little series. So y'all drop in the comment section and let me know what y'all think it is. Drop a like on the video and press that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.